I've been moderating you at Twitch for months, and you never told me you had a boyfriend. Who are you? Oh my god, <laughs> you spoke to That's me! Good. Okay, I did this. You, Ryden. <laughs> Shout out to Big Chunk. Was that okay? For the I'm not going back to see what her Twitch was. I'm just going back to see if it was a real person. Are, are you wearing a sombrero? It's my disguise. I'm trying to blend in. You are trying to give me a f***ing brain. Well, he is wearing a sombrero. Oh, what? <laughs> Bro, I almost spat my f***ing drink out. Why is he wearing a sombrero and a poncho? That's rich coming from the likes of you. Family guy funny moment. In this boss fight against the Monsus battle bus, Raiden rages against the moral degeneracy of violence in movies and sex. I have ADHD now. Yo, how's it going everybody? It's your boy Frame One back with another reaction for you guys. And in today's video, we are going to be checking out an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising Part 1 by Maxor. And I have been looking forward to checking out some more of Maxor's stuff ever since I watched his last Elden Ring video. Because I remember being so impressed and blown away by his editing, as well as his ability to cram a hundred jokes into every three seconds of the video. So I've been looking forward to this and checking out some more of his content to see if it holds up and I'm sure it will because this guy's got a large following, tons of views, and uh, and you guys have been requesting a lot of videos from him for me to check out. So shout outs to Animu for recommending today's video. I appreciate you and I appreciate everybody else who's been continuously leaving comments, recommending videos for me to check out. I got more heat on the way for you guys. I got some more Maxor videos, some more Seth videos, and some other content creators you guys want me to check out. I'm gonna get to all of it. So. Be on the lookout for that. With that being said, an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising Part 1. Let's just jump right into this thing, guys. Let's get a boys. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is not a word in the dictionary. It's also one oh, of my favorite. I thought this was Metal Gear Solid 5. This is a Revengeance vid. I have actually played this game as well. I didn't play Metal Gear Solid 5, so I thought I was going to be going into a video for a game that I had never even like played before. But I have actually played this game. Um, I don't remember if I beat it. I think I might have gotten hard stuck because I was garbage gamer back then. But this game was really dope. And I bought it off the strength of watching another uh, Twitch streamer or YouTuber like many, many, many years ago when this game came out. And it looks so cool to me, the fact that you could actually choose where you wanted to slice manually. I thought that concept was so dope. Games besides Genshin Impact, created as a spin off to the critically acclaimed Metal Queer Solid 4 Guns right. of the Pirates, <laughs> we are cast as Raiden, whose Here we resume go. involves fighting the Illuminati and a bisexual vampire, trading off slow stealth gameplay and conference calls of an unspecified duration for pulse pounding and hours upon hours of cutscenes, might I add. I remember Metal Gear Solid 4 had like something like 30 hours of cutscenes like it was fucking crazy action gameplay unique cutting mechanics and the stupid yeah this was so cool since up the last one you know the one where headache kajingles puts his protagonist in a microwave now caught in a worldwide <laughs> conspiracy headed by an evil and destructive empire called the united states it's up to this game was hard Senator man dwayne the rock johnson from becoming black fight cyborg dinosaurs what? controlled by orphans and fight a series of extremely online youtube personas for such as jacked bezos the nintendo right. virtual boy and Markiplier. you're I'm gonna come find I think I got pretty far in this game now that I'm like now that I'm seeing some of the boss fights and cutscenes I might have gotten like three quarters of the way through the game I don't think I beat it though the dude with the red sword was so fucking cool I wanted that sword so bad set to the oh tune of a hardcore rock soundtrack made by the world famous Toontown Online composer for the express purpose of killing what? anyone above 40. And to complete our journey, we will have to resort to unrestricted <laughs> brutality, cutting and slicing our enemies like a human-sized slap chop in between philosophy about the nature of conflict, the morality of separating families the hard way, and memes. They made yes. Twitter into a plot point. So if any of that interests you, feel free to join me as we dive headlong into the wonderful... I don't remember a whole lot about the story. I remember the first boss fight, the huge mech that you fight in the first city taking me so long though. All of the robots in this game were also so difficult to fight. Madness of Metal Gear Rising Revan Gians, and the voices yep. now activated. I think that was the dude with the red sword. I don't remember shit about the plot though. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Yep, I remember fighting this dude on the train. I remember that part. Ah, uh, here we go. So we boot up the game, but this is the max we're editing I've been waiting for. To fix this, we had to neogaf and Wait, download what? the virus. Now really? 
It supports 1920 though. The game, but it doesn't support high resolutions. To okay, fix that's this, the max. That's to ridiculous. Neogaf and download a virus. Now I can do any resolution. <laughs> what amazing gameplay! Our story begins in the 2009 color scheme with right, our hero right. Raiden protecting President Barfsackle Crumbo. He's touring his birthplace of Kenya. I remember this. I am uh, President United States Obama. Mr. President, you Does he have die at the start? Uh, Forget. Strike the wedding. That can be arranged. Or he gets kidnapped or he dies. One Insurance of the two. Fraud. Why, hello there. Would you care to see my RGB lighting? Oh, yeah. This I guy, this was the dude. $3, Sir, this is a Wendy's. Oh. I'll just have to give you a demonstration then. Why oh, doesn't he have a helmet on, though? Oh, shit. He's got RGBs. Let's get the fuck out. I guess you could say he's <laughs> Oh, shit. He's an RGB gamer. Yeah, it's badass. Uh, my name is Obama. I have a uh, shit my doo doo ass. Don't worry, Obama. I'll protect you from this <laughs> sidewalk. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I in the Elden Ring video, I remember Maxor had other content creators. Oops. One sec. Um, I remember in the last Elden Ring video, he had other content creators voicing some of the characters in the game as he was doing an inaccurate retelling of the storyline, I guess. Is that happening in this one too? Maybe I missed it already. He, I remember when I edited that video back, he did quickly show the content creators' names in the bottom of the screen, so maybe I missed it here. I'm going like to keep an eye out for that you to as the it goes. First enemy in the game. Yep, million pieces. Now he's the first 100 enemies in the game. This is the standout <laughs> feature of Metal Gear Rising. The yeah. ability to cut anything, and I do mean anything. Yes. Nature, humans, telepathic traffic poles, a family of four, and even staircases that are required to progress the game. I, I think that's an <laughs> Wait, oversight. This really? This groundbreaking stuff for the PS3. Use it to hit weak points, confuse your enemies, and prevent them from attacking. Maybe I shouldn't play this on hard mode. What are you doing? Most animals deserve to be extinct. <laughs> Where the fuck is Ryder? Hang on, I think I'm hearing uh, boss music. Yep, huge mechs. Yeah, this was my the big boss. Crashed. I'm just oh gonna uh, run past everyone. Uh, Joe Biden, please help me pass the healthcare. Healthcare, you say? I'm a specialist. <laughs> oh shit! Ah, a new customer. You know what? This game is very reminiscent of the Deus Ex franchise. Everybody's super mecked up, and what's the word? Um, everybody, I guess, has a lot of augments. I guess that's what they called it in, in Deus Ex. They had a lot of augmentations. So this is what it reminds me of. Holy shit! Yeah. Okay. I forgot about that. My name is Obama. I uh. Shut up. Oh, I Stop thought that was right the president there. who got Quick decapitated. Down, president Bum Crack Osama. Oh, put him down, all right. What? But no, I have a giant robot. Federal agents spotted initiating. Why didn't I see that? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce yeah. you to the tutorial boss. Yeah, You're this boss was hard. A learning experience, the one you can only get with a giant laser. This is maybe the best Yeah, I remember that laser. Made. And although the gameplay is a little simple, the sheer scale makes me feel both empowered and quite intimidated. Okay, what year did this game come out? Because it's almost like Dark Souls with how hard the first boss was in this game maybe not quite and i think there were different difficulties that you could play on unlike dark souls but this was very challenging and i'm not a completely ass gamer i'm a pretty good gamer and i found this to be pretty difficult just a wonderful way to do it when you don't look like a cracked up rooster i might of have been course, playing on like no the hard mode though because raiden is fucking jacked yeah yep <laughs> Mission accomplished. So Raiden runs all the way to a locomotive to confront Dimes for Crimes, led by none other than Buff Bezos. I'm pretty sure you fought that big mech again later on. Hog all the good missiles. Oh my Obama. god. Your prime has expired, Raiden, and so has his life. Wait, why did he it's kidnap him just to kill him? I don't remember this. I, that sarcastically I remember this, most though. Most people would classify it as a fucking suicide. I'm surprised this is on the train instead of in front of it. Yeah. Face it, Jack. You can't even hold a sword. Oh, shit. What the fuck is a sword? I could give you a demonstration. But first, what's your favorite hand? That red well, blade is just so hands. badass. How could you? Yeah, there goes the arm. I'm about to level up, Jack, and you look like just enough XP. Oh, Holy shit! Need a hand Who's right this guy? Who am I? Okay, that said Boris Johnson. Was that the content so creator voicing him, or was that the character's name? Is traversing the vacuum of space on his way to the 
Colonel, I'm trying to fly what around, was that? but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting me. Raiden, I'm playing Genshin Impact, but I've run out of credit card debt to purchase Gondu. So if you can, <laughs> can't you lend me a, a hand? I, I will surely stop collecting them. You have a problem. So after the roughest plane ride since Delta, we okay. head to a third world shithole known as Russia to find the men who killed President Bumsack of Chungus and put an end to their illegal razor blade factory. Wait a second, where's the runway? Finally equipped with his new customizable gamer mouse body, Raiden begins his journey by encountering three helpless victims, knocking them to the air and scooping out their spines yep. like fucking ice cream. You see, this is actually our primary method of healing since ever- I remember this game got to a point when you had to sneak around a bunch of these mechs and it was just so annoying. Because if they, if you alerted them, it felt like it was almost impossible to kill them as far as I can remember. Uh, it's been many years since I played this game. I might be misremembering some things, but as far as I can remember, these mech enemies were just such a pain in the dick. Also, I actually can't believe how much this game is reminding me of Deus Ex, just aesthetically. Not the old ones, obviously, but like the newer ones like Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. Just like all of the characters in this game, they're super decked out and tricked out with augments. Every spine is filled to the brim with delicious electrolytes. This is right, the actual right. term used in the game. Just like American football, the soldiers of the future are fueled by Gatorade. We, however, I forgot are about that. Violence. Oh, hang on one you second. You get I've some like call. juice you power up from killing them. So, anyways, we head to the streets to get acquainted with the stealth, but unfortunately for the populace, this is the stealth part. The optional. So instead, we yeah. decide to fight the foot fetish tank. And let me. And tell these you, guys were so hard. It is real fun to kill, especially considering their fucking jump speed. Man, there really is no time between these cutscenes. Okay, scenes. I remember that. No sex offender spotted. Christ, chainsaw. What the dog doing? Holy crap! What the what dog the fuck doing? Is a dog? You are such a fucking philistine, right? Wait, how do you know my name? I am reprogrammed with knowledge Edge of everyone. Wolf. Oh yeah? Yes. Who's your owner then, little dog? The NSA. But my handler is a white woman. Damn, that's rough. <laughs> I will never eat peanut butter ever again. <laughs> For our next battle, we have Blade Wolf. Jesus. And let me say, if you don't know how to parry more than one attack, it's um time to learn. Yeah. I don't know what the attack. This I don't remember is. fighting this enemy. Maybe I didn't get this far. Fortunately, maybe Blade I did. We'll stop yiffing and call in Meals on Wheels which allows us to partake of the Gatorade Eucharist. Now with the power uh -huh. of Jesus in our veins, we donate Blade Wolf to a kill shelter, and then he monologues. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. You're Somehow, I've arrived what is the that? Bitcoin factory. I've been moderating you at Twitch for months, and you never told me you're the boyfriend. Who are you? Oh my god, <laughs> you spoke to <laughs> That's me. Good. Jesus fucking Christ. Right, and watch That's out. Fucking that woman good. is live on Stop. Now sufficiently disturbed. Damn on to the best level in the game using my favorite mechanics. Inconvenient fencing, handy enemies with cool controls, and you better Ew. believe there's some bad stealth. It even has cameras <laughs> with zero degree vision. I don't think I got this far, so everything from here on out, I believe, is new to me. I don't remember though, man. Shit. I feel like I remember fighting that girl boss outside near silos on like metal grates fencing area i don't know i don't fucking remember dude and then i also remember fighting that dude with the red sword one more time no shit this is so long ago how do i not remember any of this just don't uh, just step into the, the oh. lasers Snake, are you okay? Snake? oh my god it's a woman please stop yeah that. okay i did this you <laughs> shout out to big chunk was that okay for the i'm not going back to see what her twitch was i'm just going back to see if it was a real person no, no subjectivity here. For you, Algerian oh, queen. Okay, so I think that might be a real. Twenty nine for the donation. Yeah. Okay. Please. Well, I know that's not Max Orr's voice, so this is definitely an, another content creator. Stay back. Sorry, Jack, but my stream demands you die. God, I wish that was me. <laughs> That can be arranged. Ew. Welcome to the world's first boss fight, where the battle is against your own controller. Provided, of course, that I don't throw that shit against a wall. In this yeah, confrontation, okay. we fight the dark skin. I kind of remember this. That I've always dreamed of, juggling and slaughtering several varieties of jihadist Bakugan. If I were forced Jesus. to describe the experience, it would be Poggers or perhaps Papega. Especially after Raiden achieves the <laughs> miracle of flight when you fire what? the animators. But despite some of the occasional the hell was that? This battle is one of the best. Plus, I uh, I like. It when women hit me. <laughs> this game is like an anime lover's like dream. Yeah, that's some cool theme music, bitch. Yes! That was cool! 
Your nope. purpose in life is to be in my stream sucking on my dick daily. Uh, I see. Who is, is this? Who is this content creator? Of line. You are truly weird, champ. I, is that a bad thing? You make me want to kill myself faster, but no matter. What the hell? You will never find our secret base at 29th Avenue, Mexico City. What the fuck? These are the coordinates. <laughs> what the fuck God is going damn. on, man? Right, we need to pick you up. What's your location? I'm, uh, I, I'm in a Chinese factory now equipped with a solid lead. It's in the for Sriracha Factory. Rising Revengeance 2013 video game. It's up to Sonic the Edgehog to make his way to the <laughs> city of Mexico, complete with okay. his 50 pounds of smuggled cocaine. I also somewhat remember fighting dude with the red sword out here in this deserty, uh, I guess in Mexico, like he said. I think. And a stolen Unconfirmed. Are, are you wearing a sombrero? It's my disguise. I'm trying to blend in. You are trying to give me a fucking brain. Well, he is wearing a sombrero. Oh, what? <laughs> Bro, I almost spat my fucking drink out. Why is he wearing a sombrero and a poncho? To Fallout 3. Hey, what's up, gamers? Maxor here, and today we're gonna be questioning why Blade Wolf is packing an entire bakery. Better keep playing the game to bleach my Wait, eyes. Wait, that's our wolf now? <laughs> what's up, gamers? It's Maxor here. And today we are being beat to death by a group. Remember to Holy shit! It, it's a little weird to me that we're having more trouble with Harambe than a giant robot. Raiden opens him up like a Pokemon fan. And why is he in the sewers? Orders. Thank God that's the only enemy. Uh, uh, otherwise, I'd have problems. Oh my God! Oh my God! It's oh. a Smash tournament. I have to stop it. <laughs> oh good, new enemies. That's I fucked. That's fucked up. up. That is fucked up. I have to stop it. I'm sure most of you got that joke, but for any of you who are unaware of the happenings of the Smash community, in I think 2020 it was when most of this went down. I'll quickly explain this. A lot of the uh, I guess higher profile members of the community, a lot of the beloved like pros and community members, and even some commentators were banned from the scene due to conversing unsavorably with underage kids as well as some of them being predatory towards girls i think in the scene not maybe not necessarily underage but you guys get the idea right it's oh, good. fucked New up it running away at the end there okay but seriously what? this enemy uh, doesn't want to hit me it's all right okay. i don't have a twitter account you speak English? What the fuck is he saying? Can you repeat that? Listen, I don't know what a what? McDonald's does. After abandoning a child to his death, we're what? finally able to play the rest of the level. Raiden equips a cardboard box once used in a famous well-known video game series uh -huh. called Smash Brothers. Yes, That's seen Wario's that one before. Sake. He also attacks by farting. Now you too can remain undiscovered <laughs> in any public park. Oh fuck. What? Yeah, I don't think I got this far because I don't remember fighting those gorillas. We're finally free to explore the secret base entirely without suspicion. For right. two minutes. In that time, it's up to Raiden to escort an entire congregation to meet God. His stealth is, of course, I kind of want to play this again, so man. This game was dope. Confessional, Raiden finds something that he was never supposed to see. Right. Wally. I'm just gonna what the uh, hell's going on? This game for a while, play some good old Gary's mod. <laughs> we get a call from Boris Johnson, and he tells us that the baddies are keeping the brains of children in Futurama jars, piloting the various zoo exhibits we fought on our journey. And to figure out why, we sneak in using a wasted game mode. This lasts an entire minute. If you don't walk past everyone, using some proprietary software, what? we assume the role of the U.S. government and spy on the bad guys' web. All right, we're in. Before selling them crack, their evil and dastardly plan is to restart the war economy by fueling conflict in Syria and Donbass, then making a gigantic profit by selling weaponized baby Jeez. sharks to the military. But instead of selling when did this come out? Dynamics dog, dog, like normal After people, saying the think... Donbass thing, December 9th, 2021. Damn, this would have been before the Russia-Ukraine incident. The best way to create a robot Max army or, uh, was to consult Mr. The future. Epstein. So with our next target identified, we advance further until we find the giant robot. And if this hallway has anything to say about it, we're in for a fun boss fight. Raiden endures eight hours of being Jesus. stunned before playing his reverse Uno card and trapping it in a corner for uh, two minutes, dicing up his armor Friggin and climbing him faster than that family on the highway in my Ford Mustang. Don't worry, he's a basic enemy in the next mission. Oh my uh, god, I can't possibly cut through glass. Stop right there, Raiden, or I'll 
blow this oh child. Oh my. Who is that? His head. I'll blow his head open. Oh, wait, are you for real? I don't have time for this conversation. <laughs> Children are in danger. Do that was the kid from the sewer, right? What's no? Oh my god. So at least nine seconds happen and Ride Inside is driving to hell, all the while taking his eyes off the road with some CNN. Oh, Why the hell would that guy- is on. Why the hell did that scientist let Raiden walk up to him? Super Idol de Charo, Domain. You know, America isn't so bad after all. After being in Mexico what? for so long, I'm starting to miss how peaceful it can be, especially- What language is that? Whoa! Raiden evades the evil forces of big sobriety as they attempt to suppress another innocent drunk driver- Where is he now? ...through the nightmare known as Denver before encountering Denver. the police budget. Jesus! And showing off his toned legs. <laughs> Wait a second, boys. He's white. I'm sorry, officer. Oh I was just God. so busy playing Too League soon. of Legends. All right, I've heard enough. Deadly force authorized. Oh, fuck. We are now forced to fight the <laughs> hypothetical dystopian scenario where the government and police are influenced by corporations. Specifically, the nice. corporation that we've come to volunteer Holy for shit, he's cutting the police in half. Joe Ryden seems to be fighting their army Joe of interns because most of them use a stick. Besides, of course, the military-grade Roombas. Ryden heads into an office through the organs of an officer and inside Jesus. the big elevator ever made we yeah, take it actually down the though. hard way it's like a cargo elevator my turn speed there's even a subway section with this cool new enemy that i've never seen before i don't think <laughs> anything can ruin this what's up gamers on base back gamer. let me tell you something important raiden you're a normie and a beta male cut this is the I'm dude with the red sword right it's justice that's cringe jack and your setup is weak you can't even project yourself onto a building <laughs> or a billboard. Your clout doesn't mean anything. It's worthless. Cope and seethe, Jack. Why don't you go back to Facebook and post some minion Jesus. memes? No, that's not the point. Do you see now all this murder and you still aren't based? You bastard. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and listen for a moment. Oh my God, it's the cringe name, hey baby. Stop right there. What? what the fuck is wrong with his hair? What are you doing? He looks like Sonic impregnated a vending machine. No. How would that stun? Baton, stop his sword. Chin. What? How is he losing you to these two guys? Now, Jack. How can a cringe lord like you ever hope to kill my police officer? Yeah, how could he lose to those guys? Here we go. No fuck. So after chopping the authority <laughs> so fast that their bodies are steaming, Raiden gains a brain hemorrhage from watching my edit. So is everybody a robot in this game or an android? I know that when he was at that science facility, there were the Wally eyes in the incubators i guess they were but why is everybody that he's fighting a robot even the humans even the fucking uh even the president's assistant was a robot or a security guard what is happening which affects his movement slightly now emotionally compromised we head through the mandatory stealth section this is stealth? You know, eventually. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. You could say that I'm a big fan of <laughs> What? Your work. My name is Monsoon. Who the hell the is this? Imposters. What the fuck? Emergency meeting. Jesus. <laughs> no. All right, this guy looks pretty sick. There's something genuinely wrong with you. It's just a little trolling, Jack. You're in the land of the free after all. And your idea of freedom is enslaving children. Do you know what the Civil War was? It's cringe or be cringe, Jack. Soon you'll understand. <laughs> so free hard to follow. Is what is happening? Religion is a joke. We're all pawns controlled by something greater. Memes, the DNA of the soul. They are our what? culture, our clout. How about full of shit? Is that a meme? No, it fucking isn't, you amoeba. You'll never be based with memes like that. You're right. Oh shit! About me, I mean. What? I thought I could be just. He's like got the you, daredevil uh, daggers. Perhaps I am cringe, but that makes me free. That's sus. Doctor, turn Whoa. off my cringe inhibitors. But Raiden, you'll lose subscribers. Do it. Okay. <laughs> I was fucking joking. Why did you do it? You think you can just log off, Jack? I'm starting to see what you're getting at. What is and happening? It means what I think it means. Then caring about your shitty posts is a long way off. That's rich coming from the likes of you. Family guy funny moment. In this boss fight against the Monsus battle bus, Raiden rages against the moral degeneracy I of feel violence like... in movies and <laughs> I have ADHD now after watching this after watching that little cutscene right there. X on TV using his good What is happening? Upon which he used to rely. 
I need to take an Adderall to follow what's happening. A lot of attacks at average speed before a cheetah, demanding the absolute most of the player to survive the human spaghetti. So if you thought Blade Wolf was a real fun boss to parry, then I've got news for you. We've got more edge in this fight than Bloodborne on the PlayStation One. Monsoon can fucking teleport. He throws helicopters for fun, and his Holy preferred method shit. of dodging is self bisection. He knows he's three <laughs> edges away from being a Sonic OC, and you know what? I oh my dig god. It. Yeah, I don't remember fighting this guy, so... Ooh. Hey, Jack, ever been to the Washington Monument? Wow. What is going on in this fight? It's bad enough that Maxor's editing style alone is just so much sensory overload, but this game just compounds onto that. It's just, this is crazy. And when I say it's bad enough, I don't mean it's thank actually you, bad. Thank you. I great. spent four days editing that. Now excuse me as I take this call. <laughs> the memes. You are decapitated. Don't worry, it's just a little trolling, right? Do not repost my memes back at me. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that because <laughs> your memes end here. Wow. Jimmy B. Ross is Sundowner, Mikkel is Dolzev, Chels is Mistral, Remy is Boris, Ulysses is Policeman. Okay, cool. So Jimothy, I think, is the only one that was in the Elden Ring video as well as this one, if I'm not mistaken. That, that was awesome, man. Let me just make sure there's nothing else at the end here. I think there is. Oh, no, never mind. See you, space cowboy. Okay, wow, that was incredible. This video is bringing me way back, dude. It makes me not only want to replay this game and beat it actually this time, but also go back and replay the Deus Ex games just because I know I keep bringing it up, but the aesthetic and the theme of this game, how everybody's a mech slash cyborg augmented out with different uh, parts, different robotic parts on their body really just screams at Deus Ex to me. Uh, this was a great video. Thank you again to Animu for recommending this video. I will be checking out part two, so keep your guys' eyes peeled for that. Thank you guys again for watching this video with me. I appreciate you guys. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Drop a sub if you want to keep up with all my vids and all my content. And leave some more recommendations in the comments or just say hi. You know, I chop it up with as many of you as I can. I try to reply to everybody, so if you guys want to chat with me about anything, it doesn't even have to be about the video that we just watched. Leave a comment, I'll respond to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys again, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!